I wanted to experiment with vacuum infusion and later on I intend to do some silicone molds and resin castings. So I wanted to buy one of these vacuum chambers that would work for everything. I got this from Best Value Vax. And I got to tell you, they have been very cooperative and excellent people to deal with. They sell this two ways. You can get an acrylic lid that seals on this aluminum pot. But if you're going to do vacuum infusion, some of the resins used will deteriorate the acrylic lid. So they sell a lid made of Pyrex glass. And this will not be affected by the resins used in vacuum infusion. Since I wanted it to be good for everything, I went ahead and I got one with the glass lid. And I'm using a small single stage Robin Air Vacuum Master. This thing works pretty well. It only takes a couple of minutes for this to draw this down to about 28 and a half inches of vacuum. And I closed this off the first time I used it and it held that vacuum overnight. So I don't think I could ask for any more than that. Inside is a silicone mat which keeps anything you might spill from sticking to the bottom of the aluminum pot. My container with the wood handles will go in there after I put the resin in there. Put the lid back on here. Start drawing a vacuum. Close this valve. And you got to kind of watch your material because I expect that to foam up a little bit as the air starts coming out of the wood. If it starts to foam, you just shut this off, turn it back on again, suck it down until you get to your maximum vacuum, turn that off, then shut off the vacuum pump. One of the most common complaints about any vacuum pump is that it's covered in oil. They test these pumps, and after they test the pump, they drain the oil out of it at the factory. There will be some residual oil. And when I got this, there was no oil in here. You could see where oil had been in here. And just a little bit of oil around the top up here where they had drained it at the factory. And, and this is just a cap. It's actually a breather cap. And there's a little bit of oil that drained around that. Take the cap off, wipe it off. That's really nothing to complain about. This comes with a small one pint bottle of oil. This is about that full when I filled the pump. I've got about that much left. You put oil in here until you see the oil start to come up to here. Go ahead and start the unit and let it run. And then gradually add some more oil until you get to this oil level. And then quit filling it. Now if you don't pay any attention to what you're doing, that dump that whole bottle in there and you overfill this and then you run this vacuum pump, it's going to blow oil out through here. And you're going to get some oil vapor out of here anyway. That's nothing to worry about. When that's running, I put a rag over it. This thing's only going to be running for a couple of minutes. As soon as I'm done, I turn the thing off, wipe off anything that's around there. Open this valve and it allows you to draw a vacuum on this container. As soon as this gauge starts to move, that lid is on there to stay. When you put this lid on, kind of feel around here with your finger and get it centered as well as possible. When you're ready to pull a vacuum, you close this valve. When this comes around, you have a full vacuum and you're happy with that. Shut this valve and turn off the vacuum pump. When you're done, very slowly start to open this and just let the air start to go back into that thing. If you just throw this thing open, you're going to cause a lot of chaos inside this vacuum chamber. That air is going to fly in there and probably blow your catalyst out of the container and everything else. Just open that very slowly. This is a filter on here to try and keep any dirt or anything from going back into the chamber. When this comes back down to zero, you'll be able to remove the lid. Vacuum infusion of wood. We take our wood and submerge it in a catalyzed resin. When we pull a vacuum on this chamber, we're dropping the atmospheric pressure around the outside of the wood, which is going to let what air and that is in the wood naturally to escape from the wood. When we see that the bubbles and that have stopped coming out of the wood, then we can start to release the vacuum on the chamber, which then allows atmospheric pressure to push the catalyzed resin into the grain and pores of the wood. Information on the rest of that is readily available on the internet. 
You wipe off the excess resin from the wood, wrap it in aluminum foil, and bake it in the oven for a half an hour to an hour, which completes the catalyzation of the resin. Using this for silicone or for resin, you take your silicone or your resin material, put it in this chamber and pull a vacuum on it to pull bubbles out of the material so you get as high a quality of a mold or casting as possible. Now you've heard everything that I know about the process. Now we get to play with it and see how it works and I won't have to be trying to talk over the noise of this vacuum pump.